Good morning from a mountain in, of Samuel, from Jerusalem and Israel. I like um, to speak to you this morning. Uh, tonight was um, an attack about a few hundred meters from a farm. There were some terrorists who throw Molotov cocktail on passing by cars. And I want to thank every one of you around the world for praying for our safety at this time, at this hour, while my goldfish is in the pool here and the garden that we have made, memorial garden for my daughter and my wife uh, as a prophetic school of somewhere in this mountain. And I like to tell you that there is no greater force than love. God is love and God is peace. God say in his word, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, might and strength, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yesterday, my neighbor was walking around here with all his children. Uh, he is a Palestinian, he is a, an Arab, he is my neighbor. His fence is right by my fence here. And uh, I was talking to the children. Um, the children was waving me with the hands. Uh, they are my neighbors, those children. They will grow to be big people one day. And uh, they thinking that I'm a veterinarian. The, all the children in this village, they call me doctor. Why? Because for many, many years, they bringing me the dogs, the animal, the little cats, the little dogs, uh, every animal, even chicken, everything. And I have a special medical box here in the farm. And I am have iodine and I have different uh, uh, paste for the horses, for the donkeys. So they decided, the children themselves, that I'm the veterinarian of the village and I'm a doctor. So uh, this is how it's go here. Uh, when you live in an environment like that, you, you should not go for any provocation. And uh, we have winters here, we have summers here. And I invite all of you to come here for this tranquility, love, and peace in this place that's created by the Lord, by Yeshua, and by the Holy Spirit. You are all welcome to Israel for the sessions of the School of a Prophet. I will train you. I will make you stronger. I'll pray healing and deliverance for you. And I saying you don't need to live under any bondage now. You don't need to live because uh, Christ, our Messiah, died for us, destroyed all principality, and all enmity, all hate between people, all curses between people. And he is love, and we're aiming, and we're going towards the time when the lion will be with the lamb, that we will, even the animal will be friendly and become one with one each other. That's what we're building here. I'm walking with wolves here, and I give them uh, kosher hot dogs. I have a wolf that was uh, walking with me with two little, uh, a small one, and she become my friend and my pet, and the uh, God pet. So to all of you, I want to say, forgive to all people. It's not easy for me also. My daughter killed by terrorists, and it's not easy for me to exercise forgiveness and love after all that happened to me. My wife gone to heaven as a result of all those things. And I want to tell you something. Love is the ultimate power and strength. And I pray this morning, in the name of Yeshua, that you will be saturated with love, that the love of God and the power of the Holy Spirit in love will cover you completely. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and shine upon you today. Remember us in your prayer and come to sense how you can live in peace and love in the midst of wars, in the midst of escalation, in the midst of problem. And for that, Whatever that you help us is going into purpose of teaching the people how to love one each other, 
how to take care about one each other, how to share with one each other the love of God. May God bless you and love you to the Holy Spirit today from Jerusalem, from the mountains.